give Hello. give the date. I don't know. It's October. 30th? It's the day before Halloween. Oh yeah. We just stopped after work. At the grocery store. I'm eating Skittles. We decided to get a pumpkin. They had some lovely pumpkins a week ago. Now they have none. Zero pumpkins. So what did we get? Ornamental squash. <laughs> Check this out. We are going to try to make this look like a thing. It is... That one's yours. I decided to, on this one because look, at least it looks like a pumpkin, does it not? We failed miserably. Now, this is what Megan picked out. Check this out. If you're going to go ornamental squash, go out of the way. Can I call your 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 mom by her real name? Is that disrespectful? That's what her name is. Well, I know, but it feels weird calling her Nancy. I should call her mom or something. Call her whatever you want. Okay, this is what your daughter picked out. Look. This... Oh, oh. It's not easy to hold there. Look at that. For some reason. It spoke to me. It, yeah, well. <laughs> it said, I need a face. And some, then you can eat me. That's what it said. So somehow she's going to make this into, a into something. Okay. So that'll be tomorrow night. We'll attach this video to it. Mm -hmm. I bid you adieu. So we're going to work. See that sign? Here, we could have bought a pumpkin. It's actually telling us what to do here, right? Check it out. Do you see those pumpkins? We could have bought one. He has so many pumpkins. I don't know this man. So we'll see you in a few hours to carve our squash. I, last year we had too much candy. This year, I decided to put the candy in little bags so that they would take more because they have tiny children hands. And they only took like one bar of candy each. And seven people came, I think it was seven. So this year, I split it up evenly. Now I have nine little bags of candy, but what if 10 trick-or-treaters come? Somebody doesn't get candy. Also, I have anxieties about waiting for people to knock on the door. Like, deliveries are the worst for me. I don't even want to be in the house when it happens. So now I'm just waiting for children who may or may not have already gone past because it's dark now. We get home past 5 o'clock. I don't even know if they're coming, so I'm going to be waiting all night to disappoint children with not enough candy. What if 10 trick-or-treaters come? I. But then if I How many it, came last year? Seven. I I've seen two okay. new children, though. That would be nine. What if there was three new children and I just haven't seen one? What if they don't come? Then you bring the candy to work and let well, everybody eat. Well, I can split it. it all back up too, but then we had too much candy. I right, just bring it to work and let everybody eat the candy at work. That's easily solved. What if seven come? Then all of the candy disappears. How many bags did you make? Nine. And then you have two bags left to bring to work. I know, but what if seven come, but what if ten come? Dear God. We'll give them a ham sandwich. Say, so just wait a minute. I just opened some ham. I'll give you a ham Would sandwich. Would you like a handful of pretzels? You can make little bags of pretzels. That's healthy, We're right? We're going to be the lame house then, and no kids are going to like us. What if they don't come? There's no children. So you'll have nine bags of candy mm -hmm. to bring to work. For seven children. What? No, if... Oh, my Lord. I see lights. What if it's children? Smells like children, Paul. Oh, the light turned out. Does it smell like children, really? Beans it off. Because it should. It should never smell like children for any reason. So it's raining. It's almost six o'clock. It's dark out. I don't think any kids are going to come. We'll be safe after seven because that's when the town office is going to stop trick-or-treating. Come on, babe. Okay. I'm going to stand here till seven. Do you see what waiting for people to arrive at the door does? She's going to be so happy that somebody came to the house. I will be happy until 7 o'clock when I know it's over. Okay, so we made it to the time she wanted to make it to. Check it out. We got two trick-or-treaters. So I want this to turn into a jack-o'-lantern. I cut its butt off so that it will stand. It has the kind of center I was hoping for where it's mostly seeds 
and pulp rather than meat. I was afraid it was going to be like that much meat and nothing inside. I mean, that we have no room, but this is going to be okay. We can do this. A Hubbard squash, kind of like a pumpkin. It smells like a cantaloupe. Let's see, it's not slimy like a pumpkin. This is Bean's first Halloween, and so his first pumpkin guts, which come from an ornamental squash. Good boy. Okay, what's my job right now? To take the seeds out of this and put them in here. You said he was stupid, but look at him. He's just so happy to be a jack-o'-lantern. He never even thought he had a chance. He's, he's just so happy to be given the chance, Paul. He's neat. I like him. I like him. That's why I got him, because he has a hat. He looks like Oogie Boogie to me, but happy. Cool. Cool. Oh, it's raining. You don't get to sit over here very long, Mr. Oogie Boogie. Because Bean, whenever he comes out, will mess him up. I'll turn off the light. Okay, okay. He's neat, and I like him. Let me see him. Ah, I got drips down my neck. We're gonna go watch Halloween Six. Yep. Do you want to say Happy Halloween? Happy Halloween.